everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Artsy uh, Flight School. I'm Brian, the host and uh, ground school instructor. Of course, here is Logan, our uh, student pilot. And today marks a very uh, important part of the, uh, the RC Flight School, and that is transitioning away from ground school, which is the more boring academic work, and moving now into the simulator work. And uh, for that, we're going to be using uh, Real Flight uh, version 9.5. Uh, this is actually the, the version 9 box here, but it's updatable to 9.5, which includes the, the Habu uh, jet that you're going to actually be flying on. So the nice thing is, is you'll be able to fly the same exact aircraft in real flight that you'll fly at the field. It has the three modes of safe. It has the landing sensor installed, and it's set up to run the, uh, the 3S battery, which is exactly the same format you will be flying the aircraft at the field it is the same format it is in the um, the flight simulator. So um, if you bought the Habu, um, the ready to fly version, it comes with a um, downloadable version of Real Flight 9. So you won't need this box anymore because you get a downloadable version. I think it's from Steam. And to use the, uh, the version that comes with the Habu, uh, there's a USB dongle that uh, comes with the Habu. And that actually connects... Uh, directly to the um, the Spectrum DXS radio that comes with the Habu as well. So if you bought the ready to fly version of the Habu, you get the flight simulator, you get the dongle, you get the controller. Uh, all you need is a um, a Windows based uh, computer to uh, to hook that up to, and you can have everything you need to uh, get going. Um, for the flight school, we're actually going to be using my version of uh, Real Flight 9.5, uh, which was the updatable version uh, of the 9 that I have. So for that, we're going to be using the Spectrum Intralink DX radio. If you want to grab that one, Logan, and just uh, show that up here next to the camera here and take a look. Wow, these are uh, very similar, <laughs> aren't they? So the good thing is, is that by using this in the, um, the flight simulator and using that on the aircraft, the controls are going to be extremely similar. Um, it is advisable that you can use the same controller that you fly with as you train with. However, I found as long as the the switches are set up in the um, the same orientation, you really don't have too much of an issue with that. Uh, the, the key is is just to make sure that you don't have the switches in all different uh, configurations. So uh, this plugs. Uh, this is a wired controller. You can see my USB wire here. This goes right into the uh, the PC. Where this is a wireless version that connects to the uh, the USB dongle that comes with it. And Real Flight 9 is uh, really pretty amazing software because it includes a lot of Horizon Hobby models right, right from the mm -hmm. factory. So not only do you have the Habu that you're going to fly, but you have such airplanes as the, uh, the, the Timber, the, the Twin Otter, the P-51. I mean, there's literally hundreds of airplanes in there, uh, a lot of which I have in my hangar, even the A-10, mm -hmm. the 64mm A-10. So uh, you, you're not a total newbie when it comes to... Um, flight sim you've done a number of flights on it uh, already uh, you always like when you come over to the house you're always cranking up uh, real flight so he's not totally inexperienced with with real flight so he does have that going so remember so i'll remind you that uh, when you get started um so that the audience knows as well that you're not totally new at it but you've been primarily uh flying the uh, the habu and a couple of the other aircraft mm -hmm. as well uh, it does have helicopters it has the V-22 Osprey. I think you've flown the V-22 Osprey in yeah, there, haven't you? that was a fun one to fly. And you've, you've flown quads before, right? Just like once or twice? A couple of times, yeah. So, so yeah, uh, real actual real life ones, not the ones just in the simulator. Mm -hmm. So you got a little bit of experience there, but nothing really concrete. So what we're going to do as part of the RC Flight School is take some of that, uh, playing it like a video game, mm -hmm. and convert that into uh, actual flight lessons. And to do that, we're going to be using uh, the Carl Henderson uh, field. It's uh, one of the many fields that are available uh, in real flight. Um, for fun, we like to fly off the aircraft carrier uh, because it's cool. Mm -hmm. But realistically, uh, we're not going to be flying off an aircraft carrier in real life. So we're going to be using Carl Henderson field, which is actually very, very similar to uh, the Grand Haven RC Flying Club field that you'll be flying at. Um, the layout is very similar. It's a grass strip with uh, tall grass all around it. And so it really makes for a very familiar flying field. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's probably the best to, uh, to get started with. 
Um, the full requirements of what you need from a computer standpoint are available at the Horizon Hobby uh, website if you're going to be uh, looking to purchase this on your own or you want to use the uh, the version that came with the Hebu. Just take a look at Horizon's website, see what the minimum requirements are for your computer, and then you'll be all set. So um, do you have any um, do you have any questions, Logan, on uh, Real Flight uh, 9.5 before we start to move into the um, more of the, the training portion of it? Mm, I can't think of any. Okay. Right All right. Like I said, you've had some experience mm -hmm. with it already, but mostly just flying it for, for fun. And really, even if you're not learning to fly, um, you know, if you didn't want to fly RC planes, you're looking for something just fun to do. Uh, real flight is that too. Yeah. It is fun. You can, you can play around with uh, different settings, different aircraft, helicopters, fly off an aircraft carrier. So if you wanted to, to just fly it for fun, you can do that too. It does have some training modules already built into it. So if you did not have an instructor um, and you wanted to learn how to fly, you could actually use Real Flight's um, uh, basically pre-installed instructor program. And it takes you through a series of flight lessons. Um, I, think, um, I think the Habu is one of them and I think the Apprentice is the other one. But for this, since you have an instructor, uh, we're going to go ahead and use the instructor format rather than um, using the one that's in real flight. But if you are mm -hmm. on your own, you most certainly could teach yourself to fly. And if you're looking for something just kind of fun to do, um, I think the real flight um, flight simulator is just a fantastic thing uh, to have. So if you guys got any questions on uh, real flight, uh, by all means, leave your comments below. We'll be more than happy to, to answer them. But uh, that wraps up kind of the introduction to Real Flight. And now we're going to get into the, uh, the flight simulator lessons in which we will transfer from, uh, from the table to the computer and actually get you some stick time. Yeah, I'm excited. Great, good. All right, well, let's wrap this one up then.